Hi guys, it's Jeremy here, and today we're going to do one of the most important aspects of fish keeping, be it an aquarium or a pond, and that's test the water. So we've got our newly set up aquarium here. It's got dechlorinated tap water in it, but water can be crystal clear and still be deadly at the same time. That's why we test. So I've got myself a master test kit. A master test kit contains four or more uh, tests, and this one tests for pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Those are the four most important. So liquid tests are more accurate than uh, tablet tests or dip strips, so I've gone for liquids. Let's get started. For test tubes or vials, we add them with, we fill them up to the line on the vial with uh, five mil of water that I've got from that aquarium behind me. Five mil in the first one. Four. So the first parameter I'm gonna check for is the pH pH in the water, it doesn't want to be too acid or too alkaline. A neutral pH is around 7. 7 is a good number to aim for. So let's get started. Three drops. Three. I'll put the cap on. Cap back on the bottle. Give it a shake. And that's turned blue. So we get our colour chart and we put it up against our pH. Yellow is 6. Blue is 7.6 at the other end, so we've got a pH of 7.6, which is a good pH to aim for. It means it's got some buffering capacity. It's about average for a UK freshwater aquarium, and those platys are gonna love it. pH is good. Next, ammonia. Now, ammonia is very toxic. It can kill fish, even though they produce it from their own bodies when they breathe and when they go to the toilet. So I'm gonna test for ammonia. Two bottles, eight drops. Eight. Cut back on that one. Number two. Seven, eight. Give it a shake. And on our color chart, yellow is good, or zero. Green is bad. Green is very toxic and we'd have to take action to save our fish if it goes green. So this is good. This is a, a pale yellow and yellow means zero ppm. That's gonna take five minutes, but straight away through experience, I know that that's a good reading, otherwise it would have gone green. So that means there's sufficient bacteria in there to cope with the ammonia that our six platys are producing. 